Hi guys, here is your video on 10.1 parabolas day one. Um, after you're done watching this video, you should be able to graph a parabola. I got Radley sitting right next to me. Radley, you wanna say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so our first part for parabolas is actually having the definition, and the definition of a parabola, the mathematical definition, is a set, or not a set, the set, of all points equidistant mommy let me take my ipad mommy give me your ipad Equi <laughs> equidistant from a former take a point a point to do oh which is called the focus oh. and a line which is called the directrix. So if I look at the graph, I can go ahead and start to label some of the pieces. So this right here is the vertex of the parabola. <laughs> Sorry, this is the focus. And this right here is that line called the directrix. 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 So the definition of a parabola states it's a set of all points equidistant from a point in a line. So here's what that means. If I have this point on my parabola, this distance is equidistant to this distance. So these two pieces are the same. Same thing if I look at any point on my parabola, the distance to the focus should be the same as the distance to the directrix. Now, for my picture, it doesn't look exactly the same because, you know, I created it and it's not perfect, um, but the distances should be uh, the same. So you have two different sets of parabolas. You have parabolas that open up and down, and you have parabolas that open to the left and to the right. Now, the way that you can tell whether your parabola is going to open up, down, or left or right is by looking at the variable that's going to be squared. So since my x is going to be squared, that means my parabola is opening up and down, up or down. And for this one, if my y is being squared, my parabola is going to open to the left or to the right. All these other pieces with the vertex focus and the directrix, I'll go ahead and explain as we uh, work through some examples. So here's the first one. I'm going to make sure the, equ the equation is in the correct form. I'm going to change the equation if necessary. This is already in the correct form because we want the form to look like this where you have that single quantity squared and then the other expression on the right side. So that first equation is already set to go. From here, I can go ahead and figure out the direction of the parabola. So my x is being squared, which means my parabola is opening up or down. And here is how I can figure it out. I'm gonna take this number that's in front of my parentheses, four, and then that is equal to an expression called four p. So if I look back at this, in front of my parentheses says 4p, so I'm using that to solve for p. So once I solve for p, I get p equals 1, and I'm checking to see if it's positive or negative. If p is positive, then my direction is up. If p is negative, then my direction is down. So I know this parabola is opening up. From here, I can figure out my vertex. My vertex is hk, and that comes from the numbers in the parentheses. So any number that you take from inside the parentheses, you're always going to take the opposite of to figure out your vertex. So my vertex for this parabola is at 2 comma 3. So I take my x coordinate from the parentheses with the x, y coordinate from the parentheses with the y. So I'm going to go ahead and start graphing. I'm going to graph my vertex at 2, 3. And then from here, I'm going to figure out my focus and my directrix. This value, p, will also help you figure out where your focus and your directrix is. So your focus is always inside your parabola. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at my vertex, and I'm going to go p units in the direction of my parabola. So from my vertex, I'm going to go up one unit, and then that's where my focus is. So my focus for this is at 2 comma 4. And your focus is a point, so it's just going to be an ordered pair. 
Your directrix is going to be the same thing, so I'll, instead of going up one unit, I'm going to go down one unit, and I'm going to draw a horizontal line, because your directrix is a line. And where my line crosses the y-axis, that's going to be the equation for my directrix. So my directrix is y equals 2, since it crosses the, uh, the y-axis at 2. So directrix y equals 2. Now from here, you do still need a couple more points to actually draw your curve, because I don't want you to just draw a random parabola. And your extra points to draw the rest of the parabola comes from something called a lattice rectum. And your lattice rectum comes from this number as well. I wish it was called something else aside from a lattice rectum, but apparently that's what it's called. So your lattice rectum is the distance from your, um, it's this line that connects, that goes through your focus through two points on the parabola. So here's what I mean. So my lattice rectum is four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that in half. So half of four is two. So from my focus, I'm going to go two units to the right and two units to the left. And this entire distance right here is what the lattice rectum represents. And that entire distance is four, so from my focus, I'm going two and two. And those two points allow me to graph the rest of the parabola, so I'm going to go from my vertex through both of those points. So your lattice rectum will tell you how wide or how narrow to make your parabola. So we found all the important pieces, we graphed the parabola, we're done with this problem. Let's go to the next one. For the next one, I'm going to look at this number in front of the parenthesis again to determine the direction. And that number is equal to 4p. So p is 2. And my x is being squared, so that means my parabola is opening up or down. And since p is positive, my parabola is opening up. And my vertex, I'm going to get it from the numbers in the parentheses. My x-coordinate comes from x. I'm going to take the opposite. y-coordinate comes from y. I'm going to take the opposite. So my vertex is at negative 5, 6. So I'm going to plot my vertex, negative 5, 6. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's my vertex. From here, to figure out my focus and the directrix, I'm going to use p again. And I'm going to move in the direction of the parabola from the vertex. So I'm going to move up two units from my vertex. That's your focus. So my focus for this is negative 5, 8. And then I'm going to go in the opposite direction, two units. And that's where your directrix is going to be. And of course, your directrix is a line. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line um, through that point. And where it crosses the y-axis, that's going to be my equation. So the equation for the directrix is y equals 4. And I also need to figure out how wide or how narrow my graph is going to be. And that comes from the lattice rectum. So I have 8. I'm going to cut that in half, which is 4 units. So from my focus, I'm going to go 4 units to the right and 4 units to the left. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my parabola. So there's your parabola for the next one. Now for this problem, if you'll notice, it is not in the correct form, which is why you have all of this space over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get it into the correct form. And the way that you do that is by completing the square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting my, since my x is being squared, I'm going to do x squared minus 4x plus a box. And I'm going to move these other two terms to the other side of my equation. When I move them, I do change the sign because I would subtract 16y from both sides. So that's negative 16y, and I would add 60, so plus 60. Sorry about that. Radley's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, since I added a box on the left side, I'm going to add a box on the right side. And to figure out what goes in the box, I'm going to take half of this middle term and square it. So half of negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So that's what's going to go in the box. This side on the left, I'm going to go ahead and factor. So two numbers that multiply to 4 and add to negative 4 and negative 2 and negative 2. So I have x minus 2 squared. On the right side, I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 16y plus 64. Now, it's almost in the correct form, but usually on this side, 
we have that number in front of our parentheses. So we do still need to get that number in front of the parentheses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out negative 16 from both of those terms. So if I take out negative 16 from negative 16y, that gives me y minus four, since negative 16 times negative four would give you that positive 64. And then I have x minus two quantity squared. And now my equation is in the right form. So if I look, my x is being squared, which means I'm opening up or down. I'm gonna go ahead and take this number in front of the parentheses and set it equal to four p, and I'm gonna solve for p. So p is negative four. Now since my p is negative, my parabola is opening down. My vertex is gonna be positive two, positive four, because I'm taking the opposites of what's in the parentheses. So I'm gonna to go to my vertex two, four, and eventually my parabola is gonna open down. So to get my focus, I'm gonna take this value P and I'm going to move in the direction of the parabola and plot a point. So I'm gonna go down four units and there is my focus. So my focus is at zero, two. I'm gonna go in the opposite direction for my directrix. So since I originally went down four, I'm gonna go up four One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna draw my horizontal line. And where it crosses my y-axis, I'm gonna go ahead and find that number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that becomes my equation for the directrix. And then to figure out how wide or how narrow my graph is gonna be, I'm just gonna use this number. I don't care if it's positive or negative. So for the lattice rectum, it's always positive, so then that's 16. I'm gonna cut that in half, which is eight. So from my focus, I'm gonna go eight units to the right, eight units to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plot two points, and then I can connect them from my vertex to those two points, and I can draw my parabola. All right, so the parabolas that we've had so far have been opening up or down. Um, now let's look at some that are gonna open to the left or to the right. So if you'll notice, your y is being squared now, so that's gonna be a parabola that's opening to the left or to the right. Again, I do need to get this in the correct form, so I'm gonna start by completing the square. So I have y squared plus eight y plus a box equals, I'm gonna take these two terms and move them to the other side, but when I do that, it changes signs, so 12x plus 56. I'm gonna take half of eight and square it. So half of eight is four, four squared is 16, and that's what's gonna go in the box. Oh, I forgot to put the box on the right side. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and factor this side. So two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to eight are four and four. So y plus four quantity squared equals, and then this side I'm gonna combine like terms. So 12x, plus 72. And of course, I do need to factor out the 12 so I can get my number in front of the parentheses. So now my equation in the correct form is y plus four squared equals 12 times x plus six. All right, so my direction is right or left. So again, I'm gonna look at the number in front of the parentheses, and this one's right or left because my y was being squared. So my 12 is equal to four p, so P is three. And since the P is positive, my parabola is gonna to open to the right. So if your P is positive, it's opening up or to the right. If P is negative, then it's opening down or to the left. Now for your vertex, be very, very careful when you're finding your vertex because your X coordinate has to come from the X parentheses. And now it's on the right side of the equation instead of the left side. So my X coordinate is negative six, Y coordinate is negative four. So I'm gonna go ahead and plot that point, negative six, negative four. And there's my vertex. To find my focus, I'm gonna go P units in the direction from my vertex. So I'm gonna go three units to the right from my vertex. And there's my focus. 
I'm going to go three units in the opposite direction, and there is my directrix. Now, since your parabola is opening to the right, your directrix is now a vertical line instead of a horizontal line. So my focus is at the point negative 3, negative 4, and my directrix crosses the x-axis at negative 9, so it's x equals negative 9. And then we're still going to use the lattice rectum, so that number in the front represents your lattice rectum, so it's 12. I'm going to cut that in half, which is 6. So from my focus, I'm going to go up 6, plot a point, down 6, plot another point, and there is your parabola. And it's opening to the right. All right, we have one more. I'm going to assume that it's opening to the left. That way you've seen everything, every single scenario you could possibly have. Okay, so my y is being squared, so that's going to be to the right or to the left. So again, let's complete the square to get it in the right form. So y squared minus 4y plus a box. I'm going to move these two terms to the other side, but when I do, I'm going to change signs. So negative 4x plus 12 plus a box. To figure out what's in the box, I'm going to take half of negative 4 and square it. So that becomes positive 4, because half of negative 4 is negative 2. Squared is positive 4. Let's factor, so I have y minus 2 squared equals negative 4x plus 16. Factor out the negative 4, and I get x minus 4, since negative 4 times negative 4 gives you a positive 16. So again, I'm going to take this number in front of my parentheses. That is equal to 4p, so p equals negative 1. So my y is being squared, my p is negative, so this one is opening to the left. Again, be careful when you find your vertex. Take your x-coordinate from the parentheses with the x. So that's a positive 4, positive 2. Now let's plot the vertex at 4, 2. Let's find the focus. I'm going to go p units to the left from my vertex. So there's my focus. I'm going to go p units to the right for my directrix, and here is your directrix. So my focus is at 3, 2, and my directrix is x equals 5. And then the number in front of your parentheses as, uh, represents the lattice rectum as well, but again, we don't care that it's negative. We always just look at it as if it were positive. So my lattice rectum is 4, I'm going to cut that in half, which is 2. So from my focus, I'm going to go up 2 and down 2. And again, the lattice rectum will allow us to figure out how wide or how narrow to make these parabolas. All right, so that concludes all of your examples for this particular lesson. I do apologize for the chaos that is Radley in the background. All right, I'll see you in class.